we are going to perform troubleshooting of Kappa Aero or Eco Pipette 100 to 1000 microliter and perform its entire disassembly. If the pipette is not dispensing the right volume, make sure you have watched the functionality test video prior to this one. In addition to that, in order to minimize the evaporation factor, it is recommended that you pre-wet the tip four times discard it, mount a new tip, pre-wet pre it once and then you can start pipetting with good expectations of accuracy and precision. If the pipette is leaking or not aspirating any liquid, you must be sure that the problem is on the pipette and not in the pipette tip being used. Test it with cap expel tips. If the problem continues, you may conclude that one of the sealing areas might be worn. Take the tip ejector off the pipette and unscrew the tip cone using an 11 mm wrench tool. Check if the tip cone or bottom part seems to be contaminated. Then you can again use an 11 mm wrench tool and disassemble the bottom part. We will then access the seal, o-ring and piston of the pipette. These can be replaced or cleaned and lubricated depending on their conditions. Now we are going to assemble everything back. Place the isolation insert. Mount the pipetting and blowout spring on the piston. And put it back on the pipette. <coughs> Make sure that the o-ring is properly fit into the seal, connect it to the bottom part. Then I will place my index finger in the back side of the pipette to assist in connecting the pipette body into the bottom part. Always tighten it gently. And once you finish this part of the assembly, you can put the volume controller back and make sure that there is a tight seal. Then you can conclude the assembly procedure by mounting the final parts. You have now completed the troubleshooting of this pipette.